In what seems like the blink of an eye, several Pokemon cards have increased over hundreds of percent in the past month. This is mainly contributing to the release of Scarlet and Violet and the new rotation that has just occurred, making sure that all sets, battle styles, sword and shield, and on are legal. This past weekend, the international championships in Europe just occurred, won by Alex Shemansky and his Arceus V-Star Duraludon deck. What does any of this mean? Why should you stay until the end of the video to win a booster box? And how can we make money from this as Pokemon business sellers? Well, in this video, we're going to get into everything. I'm going to go over the top 10 best selling Pokemon cards right now on TCG Player in the competitive Pokemon trading card game scene and how we can kind of learn from all of this. So without further ado, let's go ahead and set the scene for what's going to come. This past weekend, the Pokemon International Championships in Europe occurred, won by Alex Shemansky and his Arceus V-Star Duraludon deck. If you don't know, the cards in the Pokemon decks are playable. Cards that you open from packs do get bought by players, and this can cause significant price increases to certain cards when decks do well that people weren't expecting. Over the past year, I've been accumulating commons and uncommons hollow rares and rares to then wait for rotation to occur, list them all, and sell them to take advantage of the market shift. And we're seeing it play out. I took a risk and it's starting to work out. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump into the top 10 best-selling cards right now. Number 10 is going to be Cresselia. Now, this is a hollow rare that a month ago on March 17th was at a marketplace price on TCG Player of 34 cents. Fast forward a month today after it got second place at the International Championships in Europe and it is now sitting at $1.98, a 482% increase month over month. Absolutely incredible. It's played in the Gardevoir EX deck that is now able to be played from Scarlet and Violet. Gardevoir EX uses Psychic Energies to then use Zacian V and dual damage to the opponent's deck. The Curlia in this deck is also something we're going to talk about that has increased significantly, and Curlia is very similar to Zorark GX from back in the day that had the ability to trade. So Gardevoir is now a huge deck. It was piloted by one of the best players in the world toward Rec Club, and it ended up getting second place to Alex. Now, number nine is Stonejourner. Stonejourner is a rare from Battle Styles. It was 22 cents a month ago not a card that many people were talking about and now it is a dollar and 65 cents and this is just a rare we're not even talking about the hollow version of this card that increase is 650 percent piloted by both trevor and eric rodriguez at the international championships both of these players play stonejourner in their top deck and erod is a friend of the channel so shout out to eric rodriguez Stonejourner is definitely something that you're going to be wanting to look out for as you are picking up Battle Styles bulk. Now, number eight, this card has actually decreased in price, but it is one of the top selling cards on TCG Player right now. In fact, it is the number uh, seven most selling card right now on TCG Player, and that is actually Beach Court. Now, Beach Court is a new card from Scarlet and Violet that re reduces the retreat cost of Pokemon in play, and it's seen a lot of play this weekend in Lost Box decks. This is something that has declined on TCG Player because usually when pre-releases for sets occur on TCG Player, the cards come in at a higher price point, and then as the market gets diluted with the cards and more people start to open the packs, sometimes these prices do start to fall. That being said, if you're picking up Beach Court for a penny, you can now sell Beach Courts for 41 cents. So I would highly recommend that if you're buying bulk, you keep an eye out for Beach Court because it's definitely going to be something that has a high sales volume and is worth selling on TCG Player. Number seven is Curlia. This is the card that we were just talking about. Curlia is from Silver Tempest and it has the refinement ability that is very similar to Zorark GX from Shining Legend is trade ability it is one of the best abilities in the game and it allows you to discard a card and draw two curlia was 18 cents one month ago and now it is 79 cents for the non-foil version that is an increase of 339 percent so if you have a ton of silver tempest bulk you're definitely going to start to want to look for these gardevoir cards which speaking of the number six card on this list is the gardevoir hollow from chilling rain this is another attacker in this gardevoir deck that ended up getting second at the european international championships and it has gone from an 81 cent hollow to a four dollars and 17 set hollow the reverse hollow is even more expensive meaning this card has increased 415 percent i personally have a bunch of these gardevoirs and have been sitting on them for a while and i was even telling the people in the discord server that the gardevoir card is something that you're going to want to look out for so if you haven't joined the discord server that's definitely something that you're going to want to do be sure to click the link in the description now since you're here at the midpoint of the video i do want to tell you about the giveaway that we are doing this is the first giveaway on the lab tcg channel 
channel and i want to thank you all for 5,000 subscribers it means a ton to me and we hit it on the seven and a half hour bulk sorting live stream that i was doing the other day so with that being said all you need to do is like comment and subscribe and i'm going to be giving away a brilliant stars booster box to one person that comments on this video so i will announce the winner of this giveaway in a couple weeks definitely like comment and subscribe to take advantage of the free giveaway and thank you all for 5,000 subscribers again if you're not in the discord server we're also going to be giving away a rollo printer to get your guys's businesses started so you definitely want to join the giveaway in the discord and i'll be announcing that in the discord shortly all right back to the video the number five card that has increased a ton in price and is best selling on tcg player is switch cart now switch cart's a little bit more boring compared to some of the other cards on the list it's really good in a large variety of decks it allows you to switch one of your pokemon from the active position to the bench pokemon and heal some damage in between now switch cart has gone from 65 cents to a dollar 45 it's now up 126 percent month over month it is in astral radiance and it is in crown zenith but this card i'm specifically talking about is from astral radiance so that's definitely a card that you're going to want to look out for now number four on this list is sableye sableye's been around for a little bit it came out in lost origin it's seen play in lost box in garatina and this weekend was no different lost box was one of the most played decks at the european international championships and rightfully so sableye is up there at a market price of four dollars and fifteen cents a month ago the card was two dollars and twelve cents this is a 96 percent increase into this new price point sableye is definitely a card that is going to continue to see play and it was one of the most hyped cards coming out of japan when the rotation actually occurred so if you're buying hollow rare bulk you're definitely going to want to keep an eye out on sableye now the number three card that is on this list is a card that i've been uh, i've had in my eye on for a while and i actually sold my battle vip pass a little bit early that card is battle vip pass as i just mentioned battle vip pass on the first turn of the game allows you to search your search your deck for two pokemon and put them on your bench and it is one of the best draw cards in the game to find pokemon and start off the game early battle vip pass last month was a dollar and one cent and it is now two dollars and 43 cents meaning it has increased 141% in one month. This was a card that I sold a bunch of at the dollar price point when it had gone up from a couple cents all the way up to a dollar. So I cashed out a little bit early on Battle VIP Pass, but the reverse hollow is even more. And if you've been waiting for the time to sell Battle VIP Pass, it's time to sell. Players need them, the tournaments are back, and rotation is in full swing. Now, the number two card, I'm hitting you with a little bit of a bait and switch here. This card, similarly to Beach Court, has actually fallen in price from release. But similarly, this card is something that you could be buying out of bulk. Additionally, this card also has been printed before. So it's something that has a lot more copies than Beach Court does. And that's actually going to be Nest Ball. Now, Nest Ball first came out in Sun and Moon base set way, way back a couple years ago. And if you guys have been in this business a while, you've probably heard about Nest Ball because it's a card that got reprinted now that Scarlet and Violet base set is out, which caused the old copy of Nest Ball to go from a couple cents up to a couple dollars. The reverse hollows were even hitting something like $5. The league promos were hitting something like $10. It was absolutely crazy how much Nest Balls were going for. And in this case, although the price has decreased from its original pre-order price, uh, the card is down 16% one month ago when Scarlet and Violet wasn't officially released. That being said, the card is at $1.26 right now. So it is something that if you're picking up out of bulk collections, you're going to want to keep an eye out for. Now, we have three cards that I do want to hit on. This list was going over the best-selling cards on TCG Player that were commons, uncommons, rares, and hollows. But I do want to mention three ultra rares on this list for those of you that have been selling ultra rares in addition to bulk. That's going to be Ryko V, Lugia V Star, and Regilecki V Max. Now, there's tons of other ultra rares that are selling really well, but I wanted to kind of highlight these three because they've seen some pretty significant price increases and they've seen a ton of play in the competitive game. So Ryko V was played in the Deco Volt deck a couple months ago, and it really was just like a bulk ultra rare. It's slowly been increasing in price, but this weekend at European International Championships, Maridon EX actually came onto this scene and got top eight playing two copies of Ryko V. So the hype around Ryko V is definitely there, and some Lost Box decks also play Ryko V. Ryko went from $2.80 a month ago to $7.11, which is a 154% increase. 
So if you have Raikou Vs, you're definitely going to want to sell them. Lugia V-Star has been around for a while and the card was much more expensive when it first came out when Silver Tempest was released, but Lugia V-Star did get two top eights this weekend and it is up 24% from a month ago. It went from $11.60 to $14.34. So if you thought Lugia V-Star was going anywhere after rotation, Lugia V-Star is here to stay. And the last card I want to talk about, this was already highlighted on. It's been increasing in price steadily, but with the Maridon EX deck that top aided, the that deck plays three copies of this card, and that is Regilecki VMAX. Regilecki VMAX went from $7.45 a month ago to $18.32, and about a week before the European International Championships, you could find Regilecki VMAX at $30 on TCG Player because some buyouts were going on. So those were the three honorable mentions I wanted to kind of get out of the way before we talk about the number one best-selling card on TCG Player, and that is Forest seal stone this card is played in tons of decks it is an incredible card it is hollow rare and it went from three dollars and 82 cents a month ago to eight dollars and 48 cents and it's a 122 percent increase now the reason that this card is at the top of the list compared to all the other cards i mentioned even though it hasn't had the largest percent increase is because it's the best selling pokemon card on tcg player in this list that means that as soon as you list for a seal stone it is probably going to sell in an instant so if you have have four steel stones and you're looking to liquidate definitely go ahead and list them on tcg player i can guarantee you they're going to sell quickly now as pokemon business owners these are all cards that we can find in bulk or as we are going on facebook marketplace and trying to buy collections these are the type of cards that you're going to want to look out for these are some of these percentages that you can get when you put in the effort to buying bulk and these are the types of cards that are on the best selling list that are going to sell instantaneously as soon as them so be sure to like comment and subscribe i hope you guys all enjoyed be sure to check out the links in the description and if you want to learn more about how to ship pokemon cards you're going to want to check out this video.